Hi, I'm Dr. Goddard, and today we are injecting a broken bone, and it happens to be mine. I broke my big toe in the first phalange approximately three weeks ago. Uh, the first seven to ten days are the inflammatory phase of any healing, and then you go into a proliferation phase, and then you go into a remodeling phase and laying of new tissue. So after the first seven to ten days, I like to do regenerative injections. Today I'm doing stem cell and the stem cell is going to reignite some of that inflammatory phase, but also put the, the best quality cells in there to lay down the best bone. In most cases, most people that have fractures will almost 100% have arthritis at some point in their life. This will at least uh, try to mitigate some of that uh, possibility. So the fracture I have is partly across the bone here. It broke also on the side of the bone, and it even broke through the bone itself. Now, of course, this was diagnosed via x-ray and monitored through healing via x-ray, but we can see the cortical irregularities on the ultrasound that we're getting ready to do, and you'll see the direct injection to the fracture site on the ultrasound itself. Okay, so right now on the screen we have the arrow that points to where one of the fracture sites is. And now the next step is to go in with the needle. And I already have cleaned the skin, I have sterile gel. And I'm going to go directly to this area to numb this up. It's a little painful. the stem cell and obviously cells are too small to be seen by the naked eye so it's a lot of trust in the product we get and where we get it from and this product is coming from amniotic we can also get it from bone marrow from adipose from umbilical sources but this is amniotic I'll be injecting right now So numb the skin up already. I don't feel this. Yeah, let's take a picture there. I forgot to take one last picture. It's all numbed up. I don't feel anything. There's some pressure. That was one aspect. Now I've got to go to another. There are uh, three primary fractures on my toe. Can you uh, Yes, please. Okay, so now um, I've sterilized my toe. And I've already done one injection, and so that's why it's a little red um, with the gel. And I'm moving to a second location where another fracture is. I'm going to be numbing this up and then injecting stem cells directly after this. And you can see on ultrasound, you can see the cortical irregularity, and that's what I'm targeting, right where that arrow is at. So here, you can see the cortical is fine, but there you see it get disrupted right at the arrow site, and that's the fraction. Okay, so I'm getting ready to do a stem cell injection to my fractured toe. I've done a couple already. It's already been clean, sterile gel, and I'm going to a third spot of the fracture that showed up on the x-ray, 
and we see the cortical irregularity on the ultrasound, so I'm going to go directly to that and inject the stem cell to reignite the uh, process of healing. The first seven to ten days are the most important for any healing process, whether it be fractures or torn ligaments, tendons, and after that seven to ten day process, you go through a proliferation phase, and the stem cells will completely 100% augment that proliferation phase to give you the best healing possible and have the least long-term negative results from any type of healing that you could have. So this stem cell procedure has the least amount of pain afterwards. And so I expect to have two days of some inf inflammation, and that's mainly because the needle was going in and out of the injured tissue. And then the recovery will be uh, very, very quick uh, with, with amniotic uh, type stem cells. And I expect, you know, the typical, I'm three weeks out of the fracture, I would expect another three weeks to heal, and this will help to make that uh, fracture heal more solidly in even come back more quickly. Um, most um, histories of fractures, you're going to have arthritis develop. This will decrease that likelihood and possibly, hopefully, not have that happen at all. But right now, it's very numb. As you, as you saw, I did the procedure myself, so it's a very tolerable procedure. You feel a pinch of the skin with the needle, some numbing effect and burning, and then with the stem cell injections, you don't feel anything at all. And there's some pressure right now, but I have no pain right now.